Hi, I'm Dave Wurzel, and you're watching PHTV4 Spotlight. Today's Spotlight is on the Youth and Government Club at Stag High School in Palos Hills. Uh, with me today, we have one of the uh, club sponsors, uh, Ms. Maggie Smith on my far left. Immediate left, uh, one of the members of the club, Orist. Orist. And then on my right, I've got Christos and Teddy. And I'm going to let them introduce themselves a little bit and talk about themselves in the club. Uh, but Maggie, can I turn to you first? Sure. And can you talk about like what is youth and government, or how about yourself? Your background as a teacher okay. and club sponsor here. Yep, I'm Maggie Smith. Um, I am a teacher here at SAG. I've been here for seven years. Um, I also teach U.S. history and AP government. I am the assistant varsity cheer coach. I co-sponsor Future Teachers Club here. I'm also the sponsor of Youth and Government. There's a lot of hats there. Huh? Um, how long, can you talk about it as a sponsor for this club? You know, how long have you been doing it, and and how do you like it? I, you know, interesting club, and it's certainly within your area as a social studies. Yeah, this actually is my first year being a sponsor of the club, but in years past, I've helped um, Adam Zamuda, who's also the other sponsor, chaperone the trips down to Springfield. So I have been involved in the club years past. Um, the club is a great club for kids to get involved in. It's run by the Illinois YMCA. And and basically it just educates students about what Illinois government's about and it allows them to mimic and take on roles of the Illinois government. What, uh, what are some of the activities? You, so I know you have a Springfield trip. What other types of activities uh, do they do in the club or, or meet or issues yep. do they address? Yep, so these guys right here are legislators, so they actually write bills. Um, other students can take on the role as being a lobbyist or a legislative assistant. Some students can take on being part of the judicial branch or attorneys or working in the press. So lots of different roles. Um, throughout the school year, though, they go to different pre-ledge meetings at different schools in the area where they meet with the other schools and they start to debate other bills and working committees. All right, so that's the next. Thank you for that transition, because I'm going to turn to you guys. I want you to. I'm going to give you each a chance to speak a little bit about, like, what are you working on or researching? What are you preparing for? And how about if I go with Teddy first? Uh, so our bill is about drug testing in the workplace, and we looked at other ideas with um, infrastructure education, and we felt like this was like a topic that needed to be addressed, especially in our state, and that's the bill that we've decided to go forward with. All right, and then maybe, Christos, if you can expand on like, specifically what your role in is, is preparing that bill or, or the research involved in that. Um, and then maybe, Orsi, you can talk about the position you guys are going to advocate for and how you're going to, you know, uh, push for that agenda. Right, so uh, we've been researching for a couple months our bill, and uh, we've been presenting it in front of uh, other students from other schools at what's called pre led sessions. At, um, it's Saturday mornings at different schools. And what we do is sort of like practice for Springfield, where we uh, vote on our bills, we improve them, and we kind of just help other students do that, and other people help us do that as well. So just kind of getting better every day Good. and preparing for Springfield. Good. And uh, go ahead, or do you want to talk about and how have those sessions gone for you, though? The, sh the sessions have gone extremely well so far. We actually won our last uh, competition at Andrew High School. We took uh, number one priority competing with schools like Kenwood, Richards, and other schools in the area, like the south side of Chicago. Congratulations on that. Um, and, and maybe you can speak to it, or maybe you can speak to it. How do you win that? I, I mean, I imagine there's judging involved, but what makes for a strong argument that they look at your case and they say, yeah, the, the STAC kids, they've nailed this one, that this is the issue that we need to, you know. Yeah, you need to be incredibly, like, well-researched and knowledgeable about your bill. You need to know, like, you need to make sure there are no holes in the bill itself that anyone else can like shoot an argument at so yeah and did it get challenged in that way i mean not at the last meeting no, no. we won it we had a good argument all right congratulations uh all right so let's turn away from this just for a second i'm going to ask you guys other clubs activities sports what else do you do in school teddy um so here at stag i um i'm a photographer slash videographer and i uh, help the sports out i take pictures for them i take pictures at events here at stag and it's a kind of new role I picked up the past two years, and it's been a great time. It sounds like that could be a lot of fun because you get to go to a lot of school activities and school events, right? Christos, how about you? Uh, yeah, I'm involved in uh, International Club here and uh, Relay for Life, so kind of just fundraising clubs. Okay, and does your International Club, do you do the performance thing too, or do you have a, like a special uh, activity event near, I think, in the spring, right? Uh, yeah, I think we're planning something cultural for uh, Stag Fest, okay. so keep an eye out for that. All right, we'll yeah. look for that. Uh, Oris, how about you? Uh, I'm also an international club and Relay for Life 
uh, just raising money for important causes. Uh, I also played basketball here my first three years. Okay. So yeah. All right, that's great. And really, for life, that's a, a, a very important fundraiser in the district uh, for cancer research, I yeah. believe, right? And that's coming up later this spring. Yeah. Um, favorite subject in school? I'd say uh, chemistry. I'd say computer science. Business. Do I dare ask? <laughs> U.S. history and AP government. There you go. All right. Um, and then I've got all three of you guys are seniors, so I'm sure it's on your radar. What's coming up next after high school? Uh, right now, I'm just waiting on a couple more decisions, but probably heading to a four-year university. I'm um, going to study neuroscience. Right. Yeah, I'm going to study finance at a four-year university. Still figuring out where, though. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to be a business major at DePaul. Okay. So you got the plans, and I'm sure you're just waiting on which school to go right. to or where you get excited. Oh, good luck, DePaul, another great school. Good luck with all you guys with that. Um, all right, so I want to turn to another back to your subject area, This for this club, Fantasy One. I want you to answer this too. <laughs> uh, so two parts to this. Number one, um, what political office, if you could hold any elected political office, what office would it be? And then what issue would you want to address? And I know there, there's always several issues, but I'm going to narrow like, no, this one needs to get addressed first. What would you choose, Teddy? Uh, I'd probably become a senator and go to D.C. and try to fight for gun reform and try to make our schools and our public spaces safer for everybody. Uh, yeah, I would be governor of Illinois, and uh, I would do something about the infrastructure, trying to try to fix the roads around here. Okay. I would run for mayor of Chicago, and I would I would try and curb the violence in our neighborhoods, uh, set up reforms to help people coming out of prison instead of sending them in there, uh, reforming the system and helping them adjust to life. Okay, good. Yeah. All right, I would be the governor of the great state of Illinois um, and would work for education because I'm a teacher. So you two actually could be running right. against each other here. Editors. You know, what I'm really impressed is the issues you are, you're all talking about, these are huge issues. I mean, these aren't little problems to solve, and yet you clearly have the, the ambition and, and the, the clarity of mind, like, no, that has to happen. Um, I hope in some fashion you all get a chance to work that. Obviously, you get to work at right. it through them, yeah. right? So good luck with that, guys, it's, and good luck with your school Thank choices. You. Good luck when you get to, when is the Springfield event? Um, it is March 17th is when we go down. Okay, good luck with uh, the Springfield trip and, and uh, your presentation. All right, I'm Dave Wurzel, and you've been watching Spotlight. Spotlight today has been on the Youth and Government Club at Stag High School. Thank you for watching.